it's Megan here with a blog, blog for you on how to travel light and how to travel well. So I'm leaving for New York on Monday and I decided to share with you how I pack because sometimes it's hard you think you're going away for five days and you need six different outfits for or even more for dinner for a lunch and the thing is is you really don't. You can mix and match the basics and that's the key to packing light and to packing just right for a trip that's less than a week. So first, I'm going to use my new suitcase, um, Alice and Olivia from the Neiman Marcus for Target collection that I got for like 70% off. So I figured, why not? So let's start off with what I'm wearing on the airplane. I'm not going to show you, but I'm just going to wear a pair of leggings with a nice button-up. It might be a chambray or just like a silk button-up. Um, my boots, my scarf, my big old circle scarf that you can see in all my outfit posts, and my big puffer coat. Really, the reason why I'm dressing so heavy for the airplane is A, because it gets cold on airplanes, and B, because then that's stuff you don't have to pack. The scarf, the puffer coat, and the big boots are hard to pack because they take up a lot of space. So it's crucial to wear your bigger items on the airplane. So then, that evening, I'm going to be going to an event. So I decided that I'm going to wear my brand new thrifted velvet dress. It fits me perfectly. And I'm just going to throw a nice little silver ring looking belt, I'll show you, over it. So when I pack, I fold my clothes up and then I roll them. Gives you more space in your suitcase for everything you may want to pack. And even if you're lucky, you'll have space left over to throw in an extra jacket or a hat or maybe another scarf so you can change it up by then. So I will wear that that evening with this belt. So I will add this in last with all the other accessories. So then the next day in the city, I decided that I was going to layer because I wanted to look really cute since I'm going to be going to coffee shops and maybe going to the museums or something. So I got these brand new polka dot tights. I've been wanting polka dot tights. They're not really tights. They're super delicate. But I got them from free people for like $5. So I'm going to wear these with my long, over-the-knee, warm sweater socks, um, my favorite um, leather skirt, and then my thrifted Neiman Marcus cashmere turtleneck. And then I'm just going to throw my black sweater over it. So let's put these in the suitcase. Um, again, roll it up. The leather will wrinkle a little bit, but the thing is, is I actually find that when you roll things up, they actually wrinkle less. So, oh, all right, I'm going to throw the sweater in last because it's a little bit bigger. So then for the next couple days, I'm just going to be traveling, visiting my friends in their different um, homes and stuff like that. So the thing is, is like, I don't really want to wear leggings because I'm trying to stay away from wearing leggings as much as I love them. So, J. Crew this year had this great pixie pant. They might have had it in the past, but I found it this year. And they basically look like leggings, but they're not. They have a zipper at the back, and they have the stitching along the back of the leg. And they're just, they're, they're just as comfortable as leggings. They just have a nicer, more dress-up pant effect, um, which I like not only when I'm traveling, but when I don't want to be wearing leggings. So I have these, and I'll wear those these for a couple of the days because they're a basic item that can be rotated with any shirt. Um, as you guys know, I wear mainly black, um, but the great thing about black is you can throw anything with it. So then, for the next couple days, I have these two shirts. I have my chambray shirt, which can also be rotated. Um, it can be used as just a shirt. I can wear tank top under it and use it as a layering piece. There's so many options with the chambray shirt. And then I have my faux pajama shirt that's really just a nice silk button up that looks like a pajama shirt. These are very in right now, and I'm very obsessed with them. I have a navy one too. So these are again are two great shirts that can be rotated with leggings, with skirts, with um, dress up pants, any sort of thing like that. So then I'll have one more day in New York and I'll just go visit my another friend. But instead of wearing leggings, um, I got these cute polka dot pants for Christmas. Um, so I'm going to pair these um, with my other current obsession, which is velvet. Um, I got 
this velvet shirt on sale. Right now, it's honestly the best time to shop. You guys should look at your local mall because there are some great deals going on. And I'll just pair it with this nice um, velvet button up. It's a little dirty from just laying on my floor. But yeah, so basically, and then if I decide I want to wear this earlier or any of the pieces earlier, the nice thing is, is I have all the simple pieces to mix my, um, to mix and match my outfits. Where is it for that? Um, the only thing I'm missing is pajamas and what I'll be wearing on the airplane ride um, on the way home. So, um, throw in some pajamas, my really worn out Missoni for Target pajamas, um, and just a simple t-shirt. Um, I'm only going to bring one pair of pajamas. And then on the airport ride home, I'm going to wear the same leggings I wore on the airplane ride there. You may think that's really gross, but the nice thing about Lululemon leggings is that you're supposed to wear them multiple times, kind of like a pair of jeans, so it's easier to do that. Um, and then for top, I will probably just throw on um, a sweater, just like my cashmere, not another thrifted cashmere shirt. Um, it's just an easier, I mean it's all black on the right home, but oh well. Um, so another one like this or a button up, I'll stick this one in there for now. I may change my mind in the next few days. But so we have all that. And then there's a nice little pocket. It's great to have suitcases with thin pockets everywhere, right here. Then I'm gonna stick my socks in. Um I'm gonna bring I'm bringing a hat. Um just in case it's really humid and my hair's having a bad day or something like that. Um tights. Some socks, she's very underwear, you know, all that little stuff in there. So then, this will have all of my um, toiletries and stuff in it, and that will just go right in there. And then, I like to put all of my hair products, uh, lotion, perfume, in a baggie. Uh, I learned it the hard way with this one. It's best to do that because in case the air pressure from the airplane makes any of your items explode, you really don't want it getting all over your clothes because... Um, then you don't have as many clothes to wear, and it's just a super gay summer. So stick this in there. And then here's that sweater. That'll be a great layering piece. And really, all I'm missing are my boots. So I was unsure about what shoes I was going to bring, but I figure it's easier just to bring a high pair of boots and a low pair of boots. You can wear them with anything. And they'll work with all my outfits, and then I'll wait on for about 30 different pairs of shoes. Because that's really my least of my concern. Walking around the city and walking around the little towns I'll be visiting, it's so much easier just to have a simple go-to shoe. So, my little booties from Target. So, I'll stick these in there. Got a little bit of room left. Um, I can throw a light coat on top in case I want to bring different coats in my puffer jacket. I have this one that I have thrifting, I got thrifting, or just my little cargo camo jacket. I can throw one of these on top, and then um, I also actually have to fit, I just remembered this, I have to fit my diffuser, um, which is perfect. That will just fit right here with the shoes, um, fits right on top, and everything will go right there, and then we'll be all set and ready to go. Basically that's it. That's how you pack super light. Make sure to pack the basics for the carry-on, bring a book, bring your camera, and really you don't need anything else. Um, I really try to only bring one jacket, but in case the weather two does change, pick a lighter one that fits in your suitcase and two pairs of shoes max. And those are some tips to packing super light on a less than one week trip. I hope you enjoyed and this is Megan Timlin signing off.